Hard hits and violent tackles are shaking up the sports world. Concussion protection and detection are now at the forefront of player safety. According to the Centers for Disease Control, concussions are now the second leading cause of brain injury in people ages 15 to 24. That's behind motor vehicle crashes. KXAN's Brian Sanders has more on an Austin-based company that's using technology to meet the issue head on. That's all new at 6. Straight drop from McCoy. Flushed out of the pocket. And now he throws at the last second. And he's down, and there's flags down as well. In December of last year, Colt McCoy took a vicious hit to the head. He was helped off the field by the Browns training staff, examined on the sideline, and returned to the game just two plays later. It wasn't until he was leaving the locker room after the game that he began showing signs of concussion. He was out the rest of the season. The NFL has rules in place to protect the players, but concern over safety has filtered down to all levels of contact sport. The things that have happened in the NFL with their new tackling rules of not leading with the head and tackling is going to be a positive thing, I think, that's going to funnel down all the way through us. As a head coach at Westlake, Darren Allman has resources like doctors and equipment that are not available at all public schools. And even he admits the injuries can sometimes go unnoticed. A lot of them, uh, it seems like as of late, have been uh, maybe uh, someone's knee hitting a kid in the side of the head. So what you look for really is when the players come off of the field, they come to the sideline, uh, you're looking for um, just the alertness and their, their speech and, and the way that they're communicating back and forth with you. So the big question is when to pull a player off the field. Sometimes concussion symptoms don't show up until three days later. But Austin-based Treehouse Labs is using modern technology to measure the impact of a hit real time so that coaches and trainers know when a player's at risk. Uh, the technology puts a, a shock sensor in the football helmet. Uh, it's hooked up to a little radio that can attach to either an iPhone or an iPad or mobile phone device that a coach or a trainer would have. Uh, when an impact occurs, that alarms the coach. They can take a look at the app and they can actually replay that uh, hit and look at the level of impact that the, that the student has taken. Concussion sensor technology is still in its design phase, but lower cost is making it more feasible for high school sports. From the data that we collect, we can tell the point of impact, the direction, how hard it was, how the brain or head moved so we can detect things like uh, whiplash. The concept would allow parents with a password to view their player's medical record as well. But among the challenges is not creating chaos with fear. Detecting concussions is an inexact science. Actual eye-to-eye um, -eye contact with a physician uh, that is an expert at noticing the symptoms of someone who um, is showing symptoms of a concussion. I don't think there's any replacement for that. Treehouse Labs is hoping a trained eye and their impact sensor can coexist. We want to be able to monitor a, a game, a season, even a career, and be able to store those records and, and begin to understand how we can protect our youth a little better. Brian Sanders, KXAN News. The current UIL concussion protocol mandates a player stay out of any activity for 24 hours and could keep them out of competition for a month in order to recover.